For decades, we've asked one question more than any other when you look at the night sky. Is it just us? And despite science offering clues, patterns, and probabilities, to which no one responded until now, because 120 light years away, in the orbit of a frigid red dwarf in the Leo constellation, there exists a planet so strange, so eerily familiar, that it compels scientists to reconsider everything. It is known as K-18b. Furthermore, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we may have just captured the most convincing evidence yet of alien life recorded, atoms of carbon, water vapor, and dimethyl sulfide, a compound that on Earth only living things can make organisms. This isn't science fiction anymore. This is true. This is data. And this might be the moment we've all been waiting for. K2 to 18b isn't just another exoplanet in an enigmatic region of the galaxy. It's something significantly different. A Hycian world, a rare type of planet with both an atmosphere rich in hydrogen and a vast worldwide sea beneath it. It's larger than Earth, about 2.6 times larger and nearly 9 times its weight. But it remains in the perfect spot, the habitable zone of its star, where temperatures could allow the existence of liquid water. And that changes everything. Contrary to the cold, dry wastelands of Mars or the fiery gas Jupiter-sized giants, this planet is covered with a protective layer of hydrogen that traps heat, regulates surface temperature, and prevents water from radiation in very similar circumstances to the early Earth. However, it was not until the James Webb Telescope pointed its instruments at the planet that the mystery deepened. Webb thrives in its environment. It not only detected water vapor, but also carbon and methane are present dioxide to crucial components in the formula for success. It already was astonishing, but the next thing was historic. In 2025, the James Webb's MIR instrument returned readings that astonished the scientific community. Alongside water and carbon compounds, it discovered a trace signature of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. Why is this significant? Because here on Earth, DMS is only produced by living organisms, particularly marine phytoplankton. It's a gas released into the atmosphere by minuscule organisms in the ocean, and we've never detected it previously on another planet. To make things even more shocking, scientists also found traces of dimethyl disulfide, or DMDS, another molecule connected to oceanic biological activity on Earth. The appearance of these molecules was not random. They appeared together in the same region on a planet already rich in water and carbon vapor chemistry. This is not a random statistical coincidence anymore. Cambridge astrophysicist Niku Mad Husudin called. It a watershed moment in the search for life. Because, for the first time in human history, we're not just seeing planets where life might exist. We're detecting molecules that on Earth are exclusively produced by it. K-18b's discovery of DMS and DMDS raises the biggest question of all. What kind of life could exist there? Some scientists suggest that K to 18b may mirror Earth as it existed long before animals, plants, or even multicellular life existed a world dominated by marine microorganisms thriving in nutrient-rich oceans, absorbing light from a dim red sun. Others go further. They envision filter-feeding life forms drifting slowly beneath the surface or organisms adapted to the planet's lower gravity and higher pressure, perhaps even capable of limited atmospheric movement. In this way, K218b is not only biologically active, it could be evolving, forming ecosystems completely unlike anything we've witnessed. It's a mirror, not of Earth today, but of Earth as it was three to four billion years ago when the oceans were alive but quiet, when photosynthesis had just begun to alter our environment forever. And maybe that's what we're watching now, not merely life on another world, but the first time it woke up. As excitement builds, a new debate is taking hold, one that divides philosophers, scientists, and governments alike. Now that we might have signs of life, should we endeavor to make contact? Physicist Mark Buchanan has cautioned that actively communicating could be dangerous. What if K218b is home to more than just bacteria? 
What if we tamper with a delicate biosphere or, worse, notify a civilization that we are not ready to face? Avi Loeb and others like him hold the contrary, that any advanced life would know we are here already. They'd have picked up on our signals, our satellites, our technology long ago. And if they haven't acted yet, maybe they never will. However, there is one certainty. A signal from Earth would take 120 years to reach K to 18B and 120 more to come back. Whatever we decide, we won't get a response in our lifetime. The question isn't just can we send a message. It's whether we should act on what we now know. The moment the data from James Webb became public, the world paused. News outlets published breaking news stories worldwide. The hashtags hashk to 18 b and hashtag alien ocean erupted on social media. We are not alone. Scientists had live interviews on television during prime time. And for the first time in a long time, headlines didn't talk about conflict, politics, or scandal, but about a single question that united us all, did we just find life? Academic institutions begin emergency review panels. International space agencies, including NASA, ESA, and even private companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX, quietly accelerated plans for the next generation of probes and telescopes. There were rumors of upcoming missions, AI, and concepts for interstellar sales, capsules with powered messages. Meanwhile, classrooms were flooded with curious students who inquired about physics, biology, and space. K-18B had done what few things ever have, it made us feel part of something bigger. However, despite the wonder, an unsettling thought was growing. If life exists, and if it isn't unique, what does that imply regarding us? Having discovered potential biosignatures on K218b, the age-old Fermi paradox returned with renewed vigor. If the universe is full of such planets, where is everybody? Researchers have discovered more than 5,500 exoplanets so far. Many of them are rough. There are dozens within their stars' habitable zones. And now, K218b exhibits evidence of life, one terrifying hypothesis gains traction, the cosmos is not silent. We're just late? Perhaps other civilizations came and went before us. They might not have made it on their own discoveries. Maybe the transition from microbial life to intelligent life is more dangerous than we thought, a narrow bridge that few cross. Or perhaps there is life everywhere but chooses to remain silent. If K2218b hosts microbial life today, that's one thing. However, if we find complex systems, biospheres, or even hints at patterns of intelligence, then silence is no longer a mystery. It's a message. And that message might be, you're not the first. Even though you won't be the last, you must not speak too soon. K218b is teaching us more than just about the universe. It's forcing us to rewrite biology itself. Here on Earth, life depends on oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, and water. But the atmosphere on K to 18B is full of hydrogen, not oxygen. And that changes everything. Could organisms there breathe hydrogen? Is photosynthesis possible when the sun is red? Can evolution follow a path we've never imagined? Biochemists are now studying extremophiles, life forms on Earth that thrive in acid, radiation, and even vacuum. These organisms, once thought exceptions, may now serve as examples for how life can develop in other places. And that opens the door to an awful possibility. We may have already encountered alien biology but did not acknowledge it. Rocks, signals, crystals, meteorites, and microstructures, what if there are no green indicators of life, glowing but not too much, coding beyond our current science's reach? K2 to 18 billion reminds us that life may not look like us. It may not think like us, but it's waiting out there. Before K to 18B, we looked into space with curiosity. After it, we look with responsibility. If there is life, then Earth is no longer the axis of biology. We are not the rare exception. We are a chapter rather than the entire story. Psychologists and philosophers are already warning of what they call the cosmic trauma, the shock of recognizing that we are not alone. Religions are re-evaluating their origin stories. 
World leaders are discussing the geopolitical impact of discovery. Additionally, educators are rushing to prepare the next generation for a world where Earth may be just one living sphere among billions. Some people are astonished while others experience fear. No one is indifferent anymore. Since the James Webb Telescope examined the clouds of K-18b, it didn't just see molecules. It noted a mirror of what we are, what we might become. For centuries, we believed we were alone, a lonely spark of life drifting in a pitch-black ocean. But K-18b altered that. It did not yell. It didn't flash. It merely spoke softly, something we have always known, life isn't exclusive to Earth. What the James Webb Space Telescope pictured was more than just a scientific breakthrough. It's a turning point in human history, a silent confirmation, a mirror, and a signal that there is no silence in the universe. It's bursting, breathing, and developing. And now, we don't just want to know if we're alone. We're asking what else is out there, who else, when, and if they are looking back at us, wondering the same. This no longer concerns a faraway planet with strange chemistry. This is about us, concerning who we are, who we have been, and who we might turn into if we decide to listen. Because in the clouds of K-18b, encased in hydrogen and time, we may have just discovered the solution we've been chasing since the beginning of time, not proof of aliens, but proof of possibility. Now it's your turn. Do you believe that we have only witnessed the initial definite indication of life beyond Earth, or is there more to come, even greater? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe for more cosmic developments that are altering our place in the universe. And remember, sometimes the universe doesn't yell. It waits and whispers back when you're ready.